Hi, I'm Water Beetle. I'm practicing for a diving competition and I want to make sure that my front legs are as strong as my back legs, which are really strong. Like a grasshopper's, except I use them for swimming, not hopping. That's my cousin. He's the champion diver at the moment, but I want to beat him next time. Watch this. Whoa! I guess I'm called a water beetle because I love spending so much time in the water. I love, love, love it! See this? I have a hole just beneath my wings for the air to go into. I filled it before I jumped in, so I can stay underwater for ages without having to come up for air. And this bubble has air in it too, just in case I need some extra. Guess what? Sometimes water beetles are called water devils. Maybe it's because of the funny horns on the front of our heads. And sometimes we are called water tigers because we are so fast and scary. Rarrr. That's my cousin again. He's diving champion at the moment, but next time I will beat him. Water beetles are really brave. They hunt creatures that are much bigger than them, like snails and fish and even crocodiles. Maybe not crocodiles. Uh oh, did you see that? He's getting really good. I better go and practice some more. See ya! Lovely. <laughs> All right, mate. I'm a woodlouse. But around here, they've called me worse names than that. Doodlebug, roly-poly. But I ain't the sensitive type, thanks to my hard outer shell here. Bet you didn't know that woodlice are related to crabs and lobsters, did you? Or that we've got blue blood. But that don't exactly make me royalty, mate. Nobody could ever accuse us lot of being posh. Ooh, lovely. Here's some poop I made earlier. I'll have that later for me tea. Yeah, yeah, so I ain't got dainty manners, but that ain't my fault, governor. You see, I don't get all the vitamins I need from me grub the first time it goes through me tummy. So when I poop it out, I always have to give it another go. How and ever, I never pee. It just passes into the air through me shell. Oh, that's better. Whiffs a bit, though. <laughs> cool, blimey. Still, it can be handy because it puts me enemies right off. Diamond. And if that don't work, I just curl into a ball. So okay, okay, we're big softies underneath it all. We don't bite, we're not poisonous, and we don't carry any diseases. We ain't fond of being in the spotlight. And we usually run away from trouble as fast as our 14 little legs can carry us! <laughs> that was close. I think I need a nice drink of water to calm down. Oh yeah, did I forget to mention that I drink with me bum? Well, oh, I did try to warn you that I ain't posh. Come on now! How you going? I'm a mud wasp. Check me out. My body's different to other wasps. I know, right? I make mud look good. We're pretty easy going and don't like to sting you humans. Well, not unless you want us to. Nah, no worries, mate. What we do is collect mud and make mud nests for our little ones. Here, I'll show you. We roll mud into a ball and build it into a nest. We're like any area where it's dark and dry. So you might see us around your garage, or on your shed. Nothing too big, mine. The nest's only about the size of a tennis ball. Oh, watch, here's the fun part. For a nice bit of tucker, right? We sting spiders. But we don't kill them, right? Now, our sting freezes it. 
Then we bring them into the nest so that all the little mud wasps can have a bit of grub to help them grow up nice and strong, like me. I, I meant that. I meant to do that. That's the missus. Females normally collect all the mud, but I like to do me bit, you know. We're not all about mud and spiders. Sometimes we like to kick back and enjoy a bit of nectar. Oh, sweet, sweet nectar. We're not very sociable, though. We like to keep ourselves to ourselves. We're all about family, feeding and protecting the young ones. Here, look. Oh, yeah, that was a right feast, that was. All right, I, I better head off. Don't want to get into trouble with the missus. We're building a new nest. No worries. It was nice talking to you. All right. <laughs> Just don't blow my cover, okay? Now, shh! I'm an assassin bug, and by night, I like to lay in wait for my victims. I do an evil laugh, but my tummy don't feel so good. Why else do you think I just let all those creatures escape my dastardly clutches? Oh, I think I ate too many stink bugs, beetles, caterpillars last night. Oh, that's better. So, now you're thinking I'm a real baddie, huh? But you people are always getting us assassin bugs to do your dirty work for you. Scientists, farmers and even gardeners use us for... pest control. Say hello to my little friend. Just think of all the delicious crops that are saved because we assassin bugs are out there keeping the fields clean. And every time we go out there, we risk being eaten by large spiders, birds, rodents, and even other assassin bugs. Yikes! Shout if you see one now. Hey, watch it. Don't get too close now, because I bite. Why people keep us as pets, I'll never know. Wouldn't you rather something a bit cuter and fluffier? I know I would. Ah! Didn't I tell you to shout if you saw another assassin bug? But, who knows, maybe she just wants to be friends. I'd fly away right now, only my wings don't work so good. Only one thing for it, run! <laughs> What do you want? Can't you see I am very busy? Ah, it is no use. I cannot concentrate with you here. I am a frog hopper. I have big eyes like a frog, yeah? I am also the world high jump champion. 71 centimeters is my personal best. Next stop, the Olympics. The secret to our success is our back legs. When we move around normally, they are completely useless. They are designed for jumping only. They have muscles that work like a catapult. Fleas can jump as high as us. But it is much harder for us to jump that high, as we are 60 times heavier than mere fleas. If humans were as skillful as us at jumping, they would be able to leap over a skyscraper. We like to rest by covering our bodies with our wings. And we always eat our greens. We jump from plant to plant, feeding on them. We also jump to escape from birds and other insects like flies and wasps. We hatch from an egg, and when we are born, we have no wings. The frog hopper then grows inside a cocoon called a cuckoo spit. This protects the frog hopper as it becomes a fully grown insect, like me, with six legs and two pairs of wings. Was that what I think it was? I don't mean to be rude, but I must prepare to jump. That bird sounds hungry. Five, four, three, two, one. Wish me luck. Boy. <laughs> 
Confused with tick slicer bed bugs. They're no members of our clan. Aye, son, someday all this will be yours. To share with your 1,000 wee brothers and sisters, eh? Always hold your head up high, son. We fleas have a long and proud heritage on this earth. That's right. There's more to fleas than itchy pets. We've been around for more than 100 million years. Back then, we were probably making a T-Rex itchy instead of wee fluffy here. Whee! We're also champion Highland Flingers. Jumping 150 times our own height isn't a bother to us. That would be like one of you humans jumping a thousand feet. Oh, whee! We can even accelerate 50 times faster than the space shuttle. It's a big deal, we suck blood up to 400 times a day. But we can go without grub for 100 days if we have to. We're no softies. No, really, we're well hard, pal. It's so you people can't crush us. Cause you know you're always at it, you wee scallywags. Oh, oh, oh dearie me, I hope that wasn't what I think it is. Oh no! We Fluffy's getting the flea treatment! Oh dear! Oh. You can take our lives, but you can never take our freedom! I'm a wasp, not a bee. Us wasps are good for the world. But do we get a thank you for it? No, we don't. You see, we wasps eat all sorts of bugs and creatures that eat the food the farmers grow. So why do we have such a bad rep? Because we have a sting. We have a stinger with a little drop of venom in it. We use it if anything gets in the way of our work. We can go a little crazy. We sting creepy crawlies so we can eat them. We also eat spiders, and sometimes we eat garbage. Oh, garbage is so good. But most of all, we drink the nectar from plants. It's a little like fruit juice that bees also drink. That's why people think we wasps are bees, but we're not. How many times do I have to tell you? Our nests are made from tiny pieces of wood that we chew up and then stick together. We make these little rooms inside the nest that are called combs. We put our nests in trees and sometimes close to buildings. So always be careful if you see a wasp's nest. We don't like creatures with long sticky tongues like frogs and lizards. All I know is they eat us. So I better get off before I'm lunch. That was a little too close. ta -da. Greens are powerful tasty. Uh, why, excuse me. I'm a caterpillar and I'm a lean, mean eating machine. Farmers and gardeners complain that I got a motor mouth, but I don't pay them no mind, no sir, because I got me a dream. Someday, somehow, I'm gonna float like a butterfly. When caterpillars eat, their insides grow, but not their outsides. So eventually they just bust right out of their skins and keep on snacking. We shed our skin up to five times before we're ready for metamorphosis. That's a fancy word for changing shape, y'all. After spinning a cocoon out of silk, we take us a two-week power nap. We 
Meanwhile, our six little legs grow real long. Our soft pro legs disappear. We sprout antennae and then wings. Yep, someday I'm gonna fly high up into that big blue sky. But meanwhile, I gotta keep fighting the good fight. Them wasps and birds think I'm soft and slow. <laughs> Chumps. I'll scare them off with my bright colors and big personality. I'm quite the specimen. You measly humans only got 629 muscles, but I got 4,000. I lifted that twice earlier. You should have been here. Oh, dang. You'll have to excuse me, y'all, for I believe the time has come for me to skedaddle. <laughs> Thank you.